We're just like other people. We love to sing, we love to dance, we admire beautiful women. We're human, and sometimes very human. Hi everyone, we're here for another installment of my crafts, and it's primarily featuring my, featuring my muse, uh, Brent Spiner, and we're going to have a few more tags. We do have some pins, and of course a lot of these things are laminated. Uh, we'll have some bead embroidery, some finished jewelry, and uh, some Halloween items, and I hope you all really enjoy it. There's some more tags that I finished. Of course, I embellish uh, anything on the outside and the underneath with black gesso. Uh, there's our black gesso, which I use quite a bit. And on these, I put some painting uh, with some toll painting. looks like folk art uh, plaid, a metallic periwinkle. I really like that color. This one has... Uh, Mycanius Oxide on it, and it has a couple pictures of Brent. Uh, that one has the painting. I think it has some silver on there. And the Mycanius Oxide, when you put it on anything, it comes out kind of rough. And once you put the gloss on it, it makes it a lot nicer. It makes it really, really shiny. And um, there's a tag, uh, or will be a tag, of Brent from his new web series, Fresh Hell. I hope you all catch that. And here's a data lore. There's lore and data. And there's our current Brent. And uh, that one also has a micaneous oxide in the background. And here's a little uh, dimensional uh, uh, glaze that I put over a picture of Brent and I made it into a bracelet. Um, I've been using the diamond glaze on a lot of my projects and just came out uh, Mod Podge came out with its own dimensional uh, type of glaze so I'm going to be experimenting with that and getting back to you. Here's some other tags that I made by repurposing other cutesy little tags or little pins that I get and I put the micaneous oxide uh, over the black gesso on that and glued the picture and put the dimensional adhesive on it. Here's one with an embellished frame and I glue the treated picture. I do put uh, coats of the diamond glaze on the front and the back of the picture before I glue it to anything. It helps keep its shape and it makes it look nice. And then I put the dimensional adhesive in the middle of it on a flat surface and let that dry. That's all glued to recycled cardboard which has silver on the back of it and then I glue a pin back. Here's a couple of earrings that I did. Uh, these are just die cut types of cardboard uh, and this is the way they come and then I put the black gesso on them. Usually I do put the micaneous oxide. I love the way it sparkles and you can see that in the background. And there's a couple of older pictures of Brent. Here are some wood items. There's a wood item. There's a repurposed pin and some more wood. I love that picture of Brent. Uh, here's a little charm and I put the dimensional adhesive over that and I'm pretty sure that's probably going to go on a necklace. I really like that. And here's some other little charms, little cardboard charms and here's a little bead uh, on which I got a picture of um, Dr. Fenway uh, from the Threshold series. Here's some fun things that I make that aren't all Brent. Uh, this is kind of like a space pick that I made uh, with some oil pastels and some paint and I embroidered around it. I put some bead embroidering around that and that's going to be a focal point. This is all done on ultra suede. Uh, there's another little thing that I made that's probably going to be a gift. It's a little angel. And here's a picture of Morticia and Gomez Adams, and I like to think that they're part of the family. Uh, here's Emily. Here's kind of a steampunk combination uh, with pictures and gears, and I put a little Swarovski crystal in that. Here's a couple of older uh, dimensional projects that I had that I put on ultra suede and then embroidered around it, and there's a little piece of a polymer clay uh, 
embellishment that I put on some ultra suede and did some beading around it and added some Swarovski crystals. Also right here, uh, this was a little experiment and it came out really good. Uh, it was a little picture that I had that I put in a charm. I found a whole bag of these charms at the craft store. Uh, so I'm going to be experimenting with some of those. Uh, I put it on a flat surface, put the dimensional adhesive diamond glaze in it and let that dry and it came out really, really nice. I know it's a little bit past Halloween, but I wanted to show you some of the things that I made with a Halloween theme. Here's a repurposed pin, and I've got like little stickers and little kind of fake plastic rhinestones and things on it. Here are a couple of small beaded pumpkins that I made with seed beads. And over here, uh, this, these, these six little charm tags were made with uh, paper. Uh, there's scrapbooking paper on the back, and then uh, I do have a piece of metal on which I've put painting. Uh, I usually use a metallic purple. There's my metallic purple that I love so much, and my caneous oxide. And then I put little stickers and cut out objects and little rhinestones. Uh, I did glue everything together. Uh, first I laminated everything. Uh, and then I glued all the little parts on it. They are laminated front and back, so they'll hold up quite well. I'm probably going to be making a Halloween themed necklace. One of the things that I finished was an Eric Sung necklace. It is a picture of Eric Sung that I photoshopped behind uh, the Eagle Nebula, one of my favorite nebulas. And I put some bead embroidering around the outside and I glued it all to ultra suede first and I connected it to a necklace made out of seed beads and some bugle beads. Here's a data necklace that I completed. It does have, of course, the ultra suede and the bead embroidery, a couple of little wood hearts, and I think I embellished those with some micaneous oxide. It does have the dimensional piece in the middle, which has embroidery around it, and I'm pretty sure that dimensional piece, I did put a little bit of iridescent paint in it, and it has a little bit of an iridescent shine, and I hook that to a necklace and it's made out of seed beads and some bugle beads. Here's one of my favorite Brent Spiner characters. It's Lore and here's a Lore necklace. Uh, you can't see it against the black too well but that is leather cord and I've got some black beads right down in here and this is one of the components that I made uh, where you put it together with glass and there's lore on one side, my heart lore that I made in Photoshop and uh, there's one of my favorite pictures of lore uh, in between in the sandwiched of the layers I do have pieces of holographic bag and on the pictures I had punched out little shapes so you can see the holographic bag through it the outside, the frame, has been embellished with black gesso and micaneous oxide, and then it was coated with uh, dimensional adhesive, probably diamond glaze, uh, to make it shiny. Of course, we do have fun working with our muse. Uh, Brent Spiner is just so beautiful. Uh, I love working with him in a lot of my art projects. I will be expanding uh, in the near future. I'm going to be working on some art charms and I got a couple of new books and I'm going to be trying some experiments out of that. Uh, I'll probably figure out a way to work Brent into the art charm so don't be surprised of that. I hope you all enjoyed my crafts. If you have any questions you can always message me and I want to thank everybody for watching and as always take care.